this video, I'm showing you how to remove lag on Atenos in Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. So I'm showing you an overall an Atenos lag fix. And I hope you do find this useful as well. As I know, you know, on Atenos you can experience some lag, which I thought is really important to make this video. So yeah, without any further ado, let's go and get into this guide and make sure you watch right until the end. So then all you want to do is go to your Atenos server and make sure you select the right one of where you want to remove or reduce the lag on that server. So this is the server I want to do it on, it's teamtacker.atenos.me. So to go and do this, the first thing we need to go and do is change the software the server is currently running on. So we're going to go and simply go and click on change and then all you want to do is simply go and click on spigot slash bucket, then click here. And then you want to go and choose the version. So this is going to depend on what version of the server you'd like to run. But make sure you remember which one it is. Personally, I want to do the most up-to-date one, which is 1.17.1. .1. So click here. And then as you can see here, it gives you a bit of a description. Um, I'm going to go and click install. Now it's got the little tick, and that means it's now installed. So then all you want to do is simply come over to the left-hand side. We've got this whole list of everything. And all you want to do is come back to your server. And once you're here, you then want to come and click on plugins. Then you click on plugins and you want to come up to the search. Now then all you want to do is search clear lag just like so, press enter and we've got a few different ones here. So you want to make sure you go and find the one which is a new perfect way to clear common lag on your server. I know it did come up on my homepage back there but it may not for you and I just want to make sure you can definitely find it. So then let's go and get this, you want to simply click on it here and then all you want to do is go and find the one you'd like to run. Then all you want to do is go and click on the download button here and here we go, it's now going to start installing it. And now we've got the little tick. So once you've gone and then added clear lag to your server, then all you want to do is go and turn your server back on. So I'm gonna go and click on start, but before that, I'm just gonna go and copy and paste the domain. So copy, and then go and click start. Then as you can see, you need to go and agree to the EULA. I personally already read this and I do agree to it. Then it's gonna go and start it, and I'm gonna go and click cancel. Um, but as you can see, it's now preparing it. Now, if this doesn't start already, what you want to do is go and refresh the page, but mine is preparing. So what I'm gonna go and do is open my Minecraft and get ready to join. Now while we wait for this to load, I wanna quickly run through what ClearLag will do for you. So ClearLag being installed will already help. However, you will also get a few extra commands within Minecraft, which you can go and run uh, to go and help you speed the game up if you're having any extra lag. So I'll be showing you those exactly now, but let's go and get into this. Now another thing I'd recommend you do is go and make yourself admin. To do this, come to console. Once you're here, then all you want to do is simply go and type OP and then the username of who you want to create admin. So mine is tutorial tucker, so I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, I've now made myself a server operator. So a couple of minutes later, the server has now loaded and let's go and join. So guys, I've now joined the server and let's go and get into this awesome lag tool. So just by installing ClearLag, your game is already going to be a little bit faster, but there are also some really important commands as well you can go and use to go and help speed this up. And I'll be running through those just now and there's sort of three key ones I really want to show you. So they're all going to be sort of very different as well. So I do recommend you listen to all of them as they're all going to help you in different ways. So let's go and get into this. So all you want to do is press the T button and simply go and do slash lag and the first one is just clear. So type in clear like so, and as you can see, this is gonna go and remove some entities which are not needed. Not all of them, because as you can see, there are still a few animals around, um, but it is gonna remove a few which you aren't currently using. Now the second one I want to show you is simply slash lag GC. Now what this is gonna do is help clear some RAM. Now it's not always gonna be that effective, but it's still pretty important. And the next one is honestly actually even more important than this one. I'll be showing you that right now, which is slash lag unload chunks. Now this is only going to work if you sort of explored a bit and it's loaded chunks which you no longer need so do that and as you can see zero chunks have been unloaded that's because i haven't explored that far but let's say you have explored quite a lot um, a long way then it is going to go and unload those and of course you can just go and reload them when required but it is going to help speed up your game um, so it's really important to know so there we go guys clear lag is a really awesome way for helping speeding up your atenos server and you can also use it in other servers as well so i hope you found this video useful and you make sure you use those commands as well please go and leave a like subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials i'll catch you guys in the next one peace